has been a long time coming for 256 black sailors unfairly convicted and punished for a deadly explosion during World War II. Finally, the U.S. Navy has cleared all of them. ABC News has the story. This morning, hundreds of black sailors have been exonerated 80 years after a disaster nearly claimed their lives. Back in 1944, a pair of enormous explosions rocked a port in Northern California, Port Chicago. There were actually two explosions, one after the other, and it shook the entire East Bay. It shattered windows as far away as San Francisco, and it registered as a 3.4 on the seismographs at UC Berkeley. It wasn't just property that was demolished. 320 men were killed. Scores more were injured. Most of the dead were black sailors loading the ships with no training in handling munitions and few safety measures. After the explosions, the survivors refused orders to keep loading the munitions. The supervising officers, who were white, were given hardship leave, but the black sailors, 256 of them, were court-martialed. They're moved to a different location. They were moved to Mare Island. They were asked to continue doing that work and they stood up for their civil rights. Many agreed to go back to work, but 50 held out. They were charged with mutiny. But yesterday, the Pentagon announced all 256 will now be exonerated, an attempt to rectify the injustice all these years later. For us to be able to celebrate our nation, to celebrate our country and say that, hey, we have recognized our past wrongs. Some historians believe the Port Chicago disaster and the treatment of black sailors ultimately led to the desegregation of the military. Rhiannon Alley, ABC News, New York.